Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Natasha and I do book things here. In this video, I decided to do something a little bit different, a little bit um, close to my own roots here on YouTube. For those of you who just come to my channel just for book-related content, you may not know that I do actually have a beauty channel and that's what I started with on uh, YouTube and I started that 10 years ago, so I've been on YouTube for a good long while, basically before I decided to make a booktube channel. That channel is all makeup, beauty stuff, and uh, yeah, I've been doing it for a while. But makeup actually hasn't been my top sort of hobby lately, my top hobby has been reading and books. But I decided finally to sort of incorporate both because a lot of people from my makeup channel have been sort of missing some makeup stuff. Even people from, you know, booktube have been like, hey, you should do makeup stuff, a little bit more makeup stuff. And so I've decided today that I am going to start a new series. I don't know how often I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to do four in a month, but it might not be like that. Um, again, it might be bi-weekly. I'm a little bit more relaxed on this channel in terms of my upload schedule right now. Um, however, the intent is always there to film these videos every week. You guys know that like not every Sunday is there a Stephen King Sunday and that's okay. Sometimes I'm reading a lot of books <laughs> um, to try to get new content or I'm just working my ass off lately so I just don't have a lot of time. But something that I do want to start doing is makeup Mondays or mashup Mondays. I'm still not sure what I'm going to call them and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a book that I've read recently and I'm going to do a makeup look inspired by the cover. In the actual video it's going to be a little bit less of me talking about the book as it is sort of me doing makeup and sort of, I don't know, maybe incorporating a little bit of things and thoughts about the book. But I definitely don't want to go into that video as as a review or as um, any sort of spoiler filled sort of thing. But yeah, so I decided today that I'm going to start my first one with the Disturbed Girls Dictionary just because this is a beautiful cover. I love all the colors involved and um, I thought that they would lend themselves well to a makeup look. On my beauty channel I used to do a lot of things inspired by certain things and I've never sort of done inspired by book covers before and since I have so freaking many, why not? I feel like I have like endless inspiration at this point. Now I do want to give massive credit to Clara from Claire Reed's books because she did mention this idea of makeup inspired by covers on her Twitter. Um, I'm not sure if she's posted the videos yet by the time I upload this, but uh, if not, I'm going to link her channel down below as well. She's beautiful. Let's just go watch her. I'm also going to include a link over to my makeup channel as well. Please note that I haven't posted there in many, many months. And like I said, it's just sort of a switch on hobbies, but all of my videos are there. I might even going forward um, figure out how to upload these looks over to that channel as well so that the people who are still over there can get some content. I don't know, just kind of a mess, but for now I decided to sort of bring a little bit of makeup over to booktube. We do it um, every Monday or every second Monday or one Monday a month, who knows, um, but that's definitely what I want to start doing because I love makeup. I have a metric fuck ton of it, like I never need to buy makeup ever again except for like mascara and foundation basically because I just have too much stuff. So until I figure out exactly what format I want these makeup videos to be, um, a couple of them might be different until I tr sort of find out something that I like to do. But basically I'm going to be talking about books a little bit, doing a makeup inspired by it. Hopefully you guys like that. If not, let me know, I guess. I don't know. So as you can see from this, I pulled a lot of different colors from this cover. A lot of the orange, um, the sort of turquoisey blue color, and then a little bit of the black as well for the liner. Um, I'm also going to be doing a brown lip sort of for the floor. There's like a weird thing that happens with the floor in this book. I'm going to start off with the orange. Um, for that, I'm using this orange color in the Viseart uh, Dark Matte Palette. I'm just going to use a little fluffy brush. Um, I'm just going to take this and put this above my crease. I'm so not used to filling makeup tutorials anymore that like I'm a little rusty. Also, I'm not used to filming a makeup tutorial with this lens, like have it be zoomed out. But my other lens that I use is an absolute pain in the tit to use. So I'm just going to not use that one because it doesn't have autofocus. And you can hear it when it goes like meh, meh. To like focus it's annoying anyway so I'm just taking this orange color just dusting it like above my crease and then just blending it out up toward the brow so this book definitely definitely was not what I expected it to be going into it I knew that it was gonna be dark 
ish just from the subject matter but not nearly as dark as it ended up being like at all and i'm just going to take a clean brush and just kind of clean it up so basically the main character is this girl who you know doesn't have the highest iq necessarily is in just a horrible horrible family life and it just it just doesn't get happier throughout the entire book and you kind of hope it does and it just doesn't and it's just one thing after another there's a lot of just like i don't know it just I've read a lot of books where kids are in rough situations, but this one was just like to that like next level to where it's not even that they're in like a shitty family situation and have any sort of hope of like it getting better. It just does not get better for the whole book. So it's just emotionally taxing to read and hard to read. So the orange is on there. For some reason on camera, it does not look as blended as it is. It's, it's okay blended, okay? Next up, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and I'm just going to block out my, um, my lid so that the next shadow has something to stick to. Any sort of concealer will work, doesn't matter which one. And I'm just gonna take uh, that on a brush and then, and then just look up and wherever it creases is just where you wanna stop it. Now for the turquoise, which is one of like the main colors on this. I love the way that orange and blue pairs well together. It's one of my favorite color combinations. This Juvia's Place palette, it's the Masquerade palette. Um, I'm going to take this color in Molly, which is this like turquoisey green. I'm going to get a little bit of that on a flat brush. I don't know what this is, MAC 239 that I've had for like 12 years. And I'm just going to place that on top. Build that color up right there. So this book is the first novel from the author, although the author did say that she did sort of some other little like works of fiction growing up and she used to sell them and stuff like that. Um, but this is the first major like published work. I'm really interested to read a second novel of hers because this one, because it's written in a format to where she doesn't have to necessarily have like intense literary writing where like the main character you know doesn't spell things properly is a little bit um i want to say less intelligent but her iq isn't there i think you can almost in a way um get away with having a work not be like that i don't know and what i'm basically trying to say is that like if, when you write your first novel and it's written from a perspective of a character who has a low iq where do you go from there with your second novel like then do you write by FedEx. Do you then write a novel that is more intelligent that doesn't at all sound like your first one? I don't know. It'll be interesting to read her second one to see if she continues writing characters um, with that sort of like language. Gonna write a more like streamlined character or like what kind of format it's going to be in um, because this book has a format that I've never seen in my life so it was just really really interesting to read. So that green color is on there. Next I'm just going to take a clean brush and just lightly blend the two together i don't want them to be super blended because when you blend the two it's going to create like kind of like a muddy weird color i'm going into whatever palette this is this is the one of the jean michel bacchiat palettes from urban decay um i really like these two matte shades right here um so i'm going to use this one because it's again kind of like a turquoisey shade whatever um just using a pencil brush i'm going to Put this in the outer corner just to sort of darken that up a little bit i'm also going to run this into the orange and let it fade in a little bit almost into like a brownie shade i don't want it to be super muddy but just sort of blend nicely together take that clean brush that i had earlier and just blend the two together i remember though on my makeup channel that um, a lot of people would say oh like your makeup looks are not complex and i'm like no they're not like they don't have to be like i don't feel like doing a perfectly cut crease and you know crazy winged eyeliner or like a makeup look that's going to take me an hour and a half to do like that's not realistic for my life that's not necessarily realistic for uh makeup looks that people want to recreate or try out or anything like that it's just not my personal style i don't think there's anything wrong with that if that's the kind of content you want to put out but um it's just not my style so whatever anyway i'm also going to take this color here and that pencil brush and just run it underneath my uh lashes on the bottom but yeah this book is definitely just dark and like so much shit happens where i'm like this is this i don't know it just feels like this cannot possibly be this girl's life and then you have that sort of discussion where you're like am i am i just ignorant to the fact that like people go through 
this kind of shit on like a regular basis i don't know i don't know just makes me sad i guess so then that's kind of the basic eyeshadow done next up i'm just going to take a highlighter this is becca's highlighter in pearl um it's just the most white sort of highlighter that i have i'm just going to use that with my finger on the inner corner of my eye um just to sort of tie in i guess sort of the white font the tub or whatever in this. I also just use my finger for my brow bone as well. And like to be honest, on days where I just go to work, I often just like apply one eyeshadow with my fingers and I don't even use brushes because sometimes you just don't have time for that shit and that's okay. So even though, you know, I have makeup training and blah 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 blah, I literally do whatever's easiest for me on a day-to-day -day basis. So next up I'm going to do eyeliner though. So I'm just taking this like $2 Essence eyeliner um same eyeliner i've used for like years going to do my top liner with that i think one of the most like accurate ways to describe how i felt about this book is actually one of the quotes on the back and it says i wanted to burn down the whole damn world and build a new one worthy of macy unforgettable and it, i think that's just how it is by the end of it you just want to like take this girl and just like hug her and provide her with like all the love and attention and things that she needs and just yeah without the same sort of situations going on um it reminds me very much of all the ugly and wonderful things in the way that everyone in her life macy's life and wavy's life in that other book um it's just like there's nothing positive going on and it's like you just want to like reach in and help them like i don't, I don't know it's just and not the same subject matter, but the same sort of feeling you get, like being an outsider looking in on this child's life. Um, especially when you've had a more privileged one than the one that you're reading. It's, it's rough. Pretty much it for the makeup. I am going to put on a coat of mascara that I left over there. Then I'm going to put on a set of eyelashes. I don't know entirely which one of these ones are. I think there are Sephora Flirt number 30s. Or something i have no idea so i went ahead and just put eyelashes on that's what that looks like there um next i'm just gonna do quickly my face or the rest of my face um i'm just taking a little bit of contour i use this really broken nyx blush called taupe and i just you know do a little bit of this shit so i don't look like a potato and erase that double chin Good times, good times. From there, I put on my blush, which has been the same blush I've used for like 16 years. Um, that is the Milani blush in Luminoso. Um, it's the best blood, blood, blush, blush. It's the best blush in the land. It is the best blush I um, have ever used, and I pretty much wear it every day. So if ever you're like, what blush you're wearing, it's that. <laughs> same brush, because I'm lazy. Uh, a little bit of that highlighter that I used on the inner corner of my eye. Just to sort of tie all that in. So now I wanted to do one of two things. I wanted to either do the orange lips that sort of are like the side of this. Um, if I was going to do that, the color that I was going to use would be uh, squash from Lime Crime. But to be honest, with my hair, this lipstick looks a little bit ridiculous, like just sort of all tied together. Um, but if you had darker hair, I would say go with this one. It's a really fun color. Instead, I'm going to pull this sort of brown color from the floor down here, um, from like the broken sort of wall, whatever. That's what color I'm going to use. This is Lime Crime's color in Salem. And I'm like 90% sure I have like one drop of color left in this tube. So we'll see if I even get to do my whole lips. <laughs> happen to have just enough liquid lipstick left to sort of pull off this look but yeah so this is the final look inspired by um this cover the disturbed girls dictionary i'm gonna up my lighting just a little bit here there we go um sun's going behind clouds of course so i'm going to put on my beauty lens for just a second zoom you guys in show you guys some details um but overall that is the makeup look inspired by this cover
So that wraps up the makeup look for the Disturbed Girls Dictionary. Um, do let me know in the comments below if you like this video. I'm a little rough doing makeup on camera. I haven't done it in like some months, so forgive me there. But um, let me know if you guys like this, if you want me to do more. If you have any books that I've read that you'd like to see a makeup look inspired by, let me know too. That would be great if I could like have some that you guys actually want to see. Leave me any feedback, comments down below. I read everything. I do hope you guys like this video, and until my next one, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye!